Good morning, everyone. Tony here. I want to say um, again, good morning to you. Today is the 19th of December, just a few days away from Christmas. And uh, this morning, I want to talk about something. Um, I didn't really intend to do this. I actually work, woke up with it on my mind. And uh, really, it has to do uh, with some things that I've seen on Facebook. And this isn't uh, to bring criticism to anybody. I just want to, you know, kind of, well, what I'm talking about kind of disturbed me. I see people all the time, you know, family and friends, uh, a lot of Christians that I don't know, you know, post a lot of things about, you know, God is a great God, which he is. He's a loving God. He's a kind God. And, you know, always talking about how awesome God is and how loving he is. And, you know, I'm having a great day. I'm having a great week. And then two or three days later, they pour out their heart, you know, talking about how awful life is and I can't seem to go on and, you know, God, I need you. And, you know, that kind of that's kind of disturbing. Because if you think about it, one day you're talking about how great God is, and then the next day you're talking about how awful life is. And what that does, that, uh, that pretty much slaps God in his face. Uh, you're, you're telling people, you know, he's a loving God, but then when trouble hits you, then he, he's not there. And that, that tells the world that either your God isn't as great as he say, you say he is, or either you're unstable. And I just want to look at uh, James Again, this wasn't planned. I just want to go to James, the uh, first chapter. It says, uh, My brother, encounter all joy when you fall into diverse temptation, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any, man, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, not wavering, for he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let him not, for let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Now you can't you can't talk about how great God is one day and then two days later because something happens to you, you're crying and complaining and, and you know, where is God? I need him. You know, again, that is a slap in the face of God. The world does not want that God that you serve if you don't have confidence in him in, in those times of trouble. Um, my wife and I, just like anybody else, we have troubles and we have uh, situations where things don't look well. But we will not share our problems on social media. That really doesn't make sense. Again, you're sharing how great God is on social media. Two days later, you don't know where God is. So I just want to throw that, throw that out there. If you're having those kind of problems, get with a friend that you can trust. Get you a diary. Put your problems in the diary. Talk to your friend. But don't share your problems with social media. A lot of people just, they just thrive on drama. And a lot of people do this because they need attention. If you need that much attention, go see yourself a professional. Because evidently going to church and reading your Bible isn't working for you. Go see yourself a psychiatrist, a therapist, or something. And stop sharing your problems with the world. I know this isn't something you want to wake up to, but I just had to get that off my chest. Thanks a lot. Be blessed.